The top three finishers guaranteed a starting slot in the million dollar Hamiltonian next Saturday, along with the fourth place finisher with the highest career earnings among the three eliminations. They're at the post for the first Hamiltonian elimination, and here they come. And they're off, Annie's SJ goes off stride. Annie's SJ jumps it off at the start and Yankee Mustang kicks out from the outside looking to clear the field. Levexter uses the rail to full advantage, he's second. CJ Secret has come out racing in third and he's off stride. CJ Secret has gone on a break. The Swedish horse Scarlet Knight is trotting on for the lead, bypassing the three-hole talk. Liverman Hanover is racing in fourth on the inside. Laredo Cosmos is fifth. Victory abroad sixth on the outside. CJ Secret back trotting in seventh. The quarter was slow, only 29 seconds flat. And Annie's SJ trying to hustle to catch the field. Their straight alignment in Sweden's Scarlet Knight is two and a half lengths in front. Yankee Mustang is following along on the inside from second. Lovexter is trotting in third. Then it's Liverman Hanover. These four are broken away from the rest of the field. Laredo Cosmos under urging, trying to close the three-line gap from fifth. CJ Secret, who broke briefly, is right back out and rolling. He's sixth on the outside. The half was in 57 and two. Seventh is Victory Abroad, and Annie's SJ jumped again. He's far behind now, trailing the field as Scarlet Knight continues to march along. He's two lengths in front. Yankee Mustang content to follow in second with three eights to go. A rail ride so far for Levexter. Liverman Hanover trying to flush him to the outside from fourth. Laredo Cosmos trying to keep pace with the leaders fifth. CJ Secret sixth. Nothing yet from Victory Abroad. They hit three quarters, 125 and four. And Scarlet Knight is trying to take them all the way here as they come to the top of the stretch. It's Scarlet Knight under a comfortable hand drive. He's three lengths in front. Lovexter up on the outside towards second. Yankee Mustang is now racing in third. Liverman in over fourth. Laredo Cosmos is fifth. But it's Scarlet Knight, the hope from Sweden. And he's trotting clear from the field. And Scarlet Knight is for real. He remains on defeat. Defeated this year, Lovexter second, Yankee Mustang third, Laredo Cosmos fourth, 154 and one. Stefan Melander has taken Sweden by storm this year with his stable, winning practically everything in sight. They're the leading stable in Sweden. And Stefan, who is a professional photographer with Photo Tarzan, scores here in the first Hamiltonian elimination with Scarlet Knight. Now, Scarlet Knight is a U.S. bred colt. He's the son of Pine Chip out of Ruby Crown by Incredible Neville. He keeps his record perfect this year. Eight starts, eight victories. This being his first at the one-mile distance, and he wins in 154 and one-fifth. The easiest kind of winner, too. Scarlet Knight stamps himself as a prime-time player for next week's million-dollar Hamiltonian. Trackside to make the trophy presentation from the Hamiltonian Society is director Margarita Wallonius Kleberg, the owner of Menhammer Stud in Sweden, which is the home of the 87 Hambo winner, Mac Lobel. This race also sponsored by Telstar Sulkies, the official sulky of the 76th Hamiltonian. They're custom built by hand one at a time and are the top selling sulkies in America. Telstar Sulkies, when there's a need, for the speed. So Scarlet Knight is the official winner of the first of three Hamiltonian Elims. Number three, Scarlet Knight, 480, 360, 280. Second, number one, Lavexter, 460, 320. And third, number eight, Yankee Mustang, 460 to show. Exact accommodation, three and one, $20.20. $20 Trifecta, 318, pays $221 even. The one dollar Superfecta 3186, one thousand ninety dollars thirty cents, and the pick three of six eight three pays fifty six forty cents on July seventeenth. Trotting hobbles on number one Choco Chip Hanover, who races with that equipment on a regular basis.